Welcome to The Choice, Episode 16, Whiteness Conspiracy Theory, The Economics of Whiteness, Part 4, The Big Lie, Hating Whites as a Proxy for Hating God. I'm Kurt Doolittle. This is an explanation of how the left demonizes the good intentions of the right, and frankly, the right is unaware of their good intentions because they developed their tradition unintentionally by accident. They just intuit it as good as other groups intuit their strategy. The enemy left, led largely by immigrant post-war Jewish elites, foments rebellion and undermining by claiming without any warranty or liability for their words that the European success achieved by our, by our discovery of adherence to physical, natural, and evolutionary laws, meaning our formal and informal institutions that maintain natural selection pressure, limiting the reproduction of the underclasses, using empirical evidence of adversarial markets, and as a consequence, genetically pacifying, incrementally domesticating, and evolving agency in humans. That that this is somehow a form of oppression rather than the gentle domestication of increasing numbers of families and clans and tribes into full humans that are fit for a high-trust, high-growth society and the prosperity that comes with it. In other words, whether evil or unfit, these enemies of Western civilization blame white people and rally others to blame white people for the universe's physical, natural, and evolutionary laws, like they blamed the gods before us. And they offer a false promise, a false promise of salvation from those laws, if we are gone. When the painful truth is, every other civilization failed to discover physical, natural, and evolutionary laws and institutionalize them as their group strategy. And that's why they stagnated, fell behind, or died at evolution's hand. The Red Queen is unforgiving. Whiteness isn't oppression. It's evolutionary domestication of lesser evolved peoples by the continuation of natural selection using self-determination, sovereignty, reciprocity, adversarial markets, adherence to the formal, physical, natural, and evolutionary laws, and the suppression of the reproduction of those who can't compete by those laws. Whiteness equals nature. Again, nature equals the formal, meaning logical, physical, natural, meaning behavioral, and evolutionary laws. Those laws are the laws of nature and nature's God. Whiteness is God's hand. Christianity made whiteness tolerable for underclasses. That's all. Whose only excellence is excellence in doing no harm. This is the secret to Western civilization and the reason for the successful integration and Germanization of Christianity. Representative democracy can never achieve anything other than voting an oligarchy into or out of office. Representative democracy produces no goods other than a vague emotional security for those who adhere to its tenets. Direct democracy that assents or vetoes appropriations within the natural law of the European people can limit the production of harms or bads. But it can't necessarily produce goods. In fact, it produces the opposite. It can produces a continuous race to the bottom. So instead, it's whiteness, rule of law, of self-determination by sovereignty, reciprocity, and cooperation and competition in adversarial markets in everything. Social, sexual, association, cooperation, production, reproduction, commons, polities, and war. Democracy is not an intrinsic good. It produces no goods. It's, but it's a risky emotional luxury made possible by full integration into whiteness, reproductive persistence by self-determination under sovereignty, reciprocity, cooperation, and adversarial competition in markets in every aspect of life. Group differences are the result of genetic load, meaning accumulated defects, more so than genetic or behavioral advantage. The difference between classes, subrace, and races is the accumulated genetic load defect by the absence of natural selection. We are unfortunately unwilling to solve the social, economic, political, and evolutionary problem of those with such, quote, birth defects as simple accumulation of genetic load that caused them to be unable to or unwilling to conform to whiteness, meaning the physical, natural, and evolutionary laws. The solution, of course, is to take care of the, quote, defective, and despite their behavioral birth defects, 
prohibit their reproduction, thereby ending their chain of defects. So the left handed us a softball by criticizing whiteness, thereby unknowingly confirming white superiority because of the ignorance that white civilization is the most conformal with the laws of the universe, the laws of nature and nature's God. This is The Choice. I'm Kurt Doolittle. Thank you for listening. Thank you.